Hey guys, what's up? Um, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be actually a tropical update, and there is there could be a storm category three potential in the Pacific, not the Atlantic, and there could be a tropical storm forming in the Atlantic. So there's lots to talk about. But before we dive into these storms, um, please consider or, or feel free just whatever you want, just consider subscribing to my channel it really helps out a lot like it really does and always consider liking the video I don't want to bore you anymore so we move on now so this is right now our zero we go through you could see that there's nothing much going on some severe weather but that's I think I'll maybe save that for a different video because there's just a little bit too much to handle at once and you can see this hurricane right here um this is 967 millibar which is very deep and this as I said could be a category 2 hurricane uh 3 and um you know you can see it weakens as it goes up the coast but the Baja Peninsula but again this is so far out still um 174 hours it's not too far out but it's f far out enough that it's time to start start talking about it that um 967 that's fairly strong I would say category 2 maybe category 3 and the winds I can see it dies off later on but that could still change that is just an area to watch I think the National Hurricane Center has officially made it an area to watch and it's officially an area that they will be keeping an extra eye on because we don't know where this could go um, most likely we'll just stay out into the Pacific maybe affect the United States with um, some moisture with some rain Southern California but uh, as of now it is a threat and we don't really know much about it and the hurricane hunters haven't flown into it yet because I don't think it has even formed yet but it's starting to form down in Mexico and um, so we move on into the Atlantic and you can see that at the same time this hurricane is kind of slowing down there is a lot I mean just that is purple that is oh that is the max right there that is a lot of moisture indicating not necessarily um, severe weather but a lot of moisture tropical moisture heavy saturated moisture and you can see that kind of blends in and it, you could hit Florida and I think there will just be a lot of rain coming into the southeast you could see that this is sort of the tropical storm probably a subtropical storm if this were to come true this model but um this is again uh, I got something here let's trash that as of now but um there is sorry about that there is you can see that this hurricane is um it's not really even going to be a hurricane. It might not even be a hurricane. That's why in the thumbnail I wrote hurricane question mark because it could be a hurricane, could be a tropical storm, might not even happen. In fact, um, it's the latest model run doesn't even have it really that well forming. But um, I just wanted to show you this model run because I just want to show you that this is a threat. And look where this rain heads. Yep, again, the mid-Atlantic where they have been absolutely soaked with rain. So this is definitely not good news. But you can see it's getting closer and closer. I remember when I first started tracking the storm, it was out in 384 hours. Now it's 264. So right here. So it's getting closer and closer. This would be around June 15th, midway through the month. So this is, again, something we need to watch. But um, nothing to freak out yet about. Nothing to, you know, go screaming about the world is ending. Because even if this were to occur, obviously the world wouldn't end. But um, this is just something we need to take care of and watch. I will go slightly more into the details now because this is becoming more realistic. So let's see um, total accumulated precip. Even if this weren't necessarily to be a hurricane um, or a strong wind storm, you could see that it could still leave a lot of rain. And this was the same situation with tropical storm or subtropical storm Alberto. It was subtropical, which make it, makes it sound weak, pathetic, puny. What is there to worry about? There was still quite a bit of rain, and there could be the same story with this. Um, that you know, I mean, if you look in some parts of Florida, that's the yellows. That's possibly over two feet of rain. So I don't think this will be that much rain. Uh, realistically, I don't think there will be this much rain. The models are a little bit um, goofy on this, but there is a potential, I'd say, for at least, at least, maybe into the double digits, like ten inches of rain, nine, ten, eleven inches. I think that's definitely a possibility, especially if the storms line up. But you can see um, potentially a lot of rain, and the mid-Atlantic, again, seems to be getting quite a bit of rain, so that's not good news for just not good news for 
um, the people there. But again, this is for uh, 384 hours, so there. This is a lot of time. But even if we go out to, you can see that there's just like a path of where the storms are gonna line up, and that's where it leads to heavy flooding. And again, if we go to even a previous model, um, let's go to zero zero o'clock Monday. I don't. Yeah, it doesn't show that that widespread, but it still shows a few pockets. But again, um, this this is a potential. So let's go to um, MSLP at 10 meter wind, and let's see if it's gonna have any wind. You can see it's very minimal. Um, this is 10 meter wind, so don't get. I didn't click on this. I clicked on that. 10 meter wind, which is the wind at the height of 10 meters, which is basically surface. And you can see some oranges, which is 36, maybe. 40 and gusts possibly up to 50 but that's so far-fetched that at this point it doesn't look to be a major windstorm and it doesn't look to be a major flood threat still stay tuned this could change this could definitely really change and also stay tuned about this specific storm because um, I would actually like to show you how strong the winds could be in this storm you could see <laughs> um, some of these winds are Let's zoom in on this because I don't know if you'll be able to see that quite well. So let's go to I don't know if the southwest, maybe the no, maybe the western U.S. will be able to capture that. I'm trying to find a good location for you guys. I'm sorry, I should have planned this out earlier. Let's do Eastern Pacific. So let's see this. Um, this is 982, and you can see that there's actually another hurricane forming behind it. So the Pacific seems to be very active. And look, look at this. 937, 938. If this were to actually form, this would be insane. I actually didn't see that it would be 941. Sorry, this is new news, but you can see those. Let's zoom in on this again. Uh, sorry, I should have been more prepared, but um, you can see that's dark, dark purples. That is, yeah, that is, that's really dark. So that's like up to 110 miles per hour. Um, that is that is really insane. Um, actually, I'm sorry. I'm actually this first time I'm seeing this. 938 is a really low pressure for a hurricane. It, this might actually be. Um, this yeah this this might be actually category four or five if this were to actually form what they're showing right now. Which I again, but look how fast it forms. This is Wednesday this week. And then it just explodes, 941, 937. Thankfully, it's small, but we don't know. This could take a sudden turn into Mexico and then into the Gulf. We don't know. This is definitely something we need to keep watch for. And you can see it quickly weakens. Thankfully, it reaches cooler water, but this would be a monster if this were to be formed. Um, 100, yeah, this is potentially up to 125 miles per hour. So definitely something we need to keep a watch for. And... Um, if you're wondering about total accumulated precip, I think there'd be quite a bit of rain with this. Yeah, it's basically max out the scale. I mean, look at this. Again, this is off coast, but if imagine just the absolute sheer terror it would bring if this were to be on land. I mean, that's 24 inches plus, and that's the highest it goes. So, if this if the scale went up higher, then this could have I think would got would have gone higher. So, um. <laughs> this is the first time I'm seeing this, so this is actually kind of intimidating. But let's go to the CMC, and let's see what they have to say. A lot of rain, but I don't know if they're showing the exact hurricane. Let's just go to... They're showing a different one, but let's see if they're showing the same exact... Okay, they are showing a hurricane, but much weaker. You can see 9, not even reaching into 980s. So, yeah, um, there's a hurricane behind it that's stronger, but doesn't seem to be it does seem to be I meant to say um, a big you know a big variation among the models but this is just shows goes to show you need to keep watch for this this could definitely change so let's go back to Kanye West and uh, that's basically it for today's video actually I just wanted to update you on these hurricanes if you want to see the MSLP anomalies um, about let's go to zero zero o'clock Monday and if you wanted to see, is this the right one? I, no, let's go to, let's go to GFS and let's go to six o'clock today because I feel like that one's more accurate. And um, let's just bring this back down. Okay, so um, if you're anywhere, you see the blues, and the darker the blues get, basically the lower the pressure is. And anywhere you see the 
oranges, that's high, which is calm, peaceful weather. So you could see that if we bring this to the time frame of the hurricane, you could see kind of pretty pretty dark blue. So um, this would definitely bring some n some bad weather to the to the southeast coast, but it doesn't seem to be a massive hurricane. But actually, do you see this? That might actually be correlated to. Um, yeah, a little bit a little below. I'm just getting off track here, but um, I'll do a temperature outlook some other video. But that this is basically it, guys. The main purpose of this video is um, there's a hurricane in the Pacific that could be forming. That that could be a very strong hurricane. There could be a tropical storm, subtropical storm, hurricane. We don't know really forming in the Atlantic in the next week, week, two weeks, week and a half. And there could be another hurricane in the Pacific forming behind the first storm in the Pacific, and those storm in the Pacific's those storms in the Pacific can be um, can cross all these Mexico and into the Gulf and then explode. So that's always a possibility. But thank you guys so much for watching. This really means a lot. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Please consider liking the video. And as always, see you guys in the next episode.